Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some more Legos. So this time we're going to be getting into the Aston Martin uh, DB5 from James Bond. So let's go ahead and get this guy open. Oh, just two bags and decals. Okay. That will work. Set that off to the side over there. Let's take a look at what we've got. So these are numbered. So we've got bag two and bag one. We're going to start with bag one. Okay. Got the main chassis. A couple of smaller bags. More trash. We've got most of our little guy. This time, it's James Bond. As evidenced by the suit. Go ahead and put his head on there. Just so we don't lose it. And are his legs anywhere? Well, we found his hair. Yep, that's about as on as that's going to get. And I don't... There's the legs. There we go. He's going to watch us from up here next to the uh, instruction manual. No, too far. Okay. First things first, this is a little bit different book than the last few. The last few have had a um, fold, and this one is bound slightly different. So, staples versus glue. So anyway, start moving some of these parts out of the way. Hopefully not covering them up by the, uh, the manual. And let's get started. Ooh, a shiny piece. Okay, first things first. We've got the main body, and then we need two of these in that color. Okay, they go on top of each other. And then they go, oh, that's not quite wide enough. Do we have a wider one? Don't see a wider one in any of the smaller packs. Or this one. So, guess we're opening up bag number two, and we'll put bag number two over on the opposite side. Okay, bag number two, do we see the part that we need? No. I do not see the part that we need. Not in the smaller bag that came inside bag number two either. So, so it should be six wide, and I just don't see. I mean, there's gray. That's got to be what we're looking for, because it looks black over here. It fits. Okay. Got too much stuff under my feet running into that. Okay, next up, we've got to get two of these. These go like so. And we've got another piece. Should be the same color. Slightly different shape. Let's see if we can find that one of the smaller bags. Because it's the uh, one by two that it's kind of rounded. And is that black or gray? It looks like it's black. And I have found one in one of these smaller packs. 
I guess this one's not quite as well put together as the last one we put together on the channel. Because... That one was super duper easy. Everything was organized by bag. Okay, next up, we need a piece that looks about like so. And then we need a shifter, or what looks like a shifter. And that's gonna go in the middle here. Okay, we've got a shifter, now we need a wedge piece and a two wide flat top. And what colors are those? Those are black. So are you? Are you in an additional bag somewhere? Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh boy. I've got so many piles of parts now. I guess for this one, uh, like some of the older kits that we did, probably best to just dump everything out on the table first. Because there may be numbered bags, but they don't really seem to mean much. Is that going to go in? Nope. Okay, so this goes in like so. We need two of those. Which, if I found one in that bag, I should probably find the other one. Found the other one. Okay. Then I'm looking for basically this piece. There we go. Yeah. Um, it's... I don't know what they're doing with the organization, but it's... Definitely not as intuitive as the other boxes. Let's move along. Okay, we're doing a sub-assembly here. Looks like we're starting with this piece, and we are looking for some pieces like this. Go in here, and here. Then we need a two by four that looks gray. Let's see if we can find one around here. I mean, I, I see two by threes. I don't see two by fours. There's a gray. I'm gonna go on about like so. Set that aside while we build this. Then we need two of these. So once I figure out what pack they're in, it's not that difficult to find the matching pieces. But figuring out which pack or which pile they're in is occasionally challenging. I'm just trying to get those lined up just right. Okay. So now we need two. Looks like black ones. Looks like we just found a few over here. These point out the back. Okay, got that. Next up, two L brackets in black. There's one, there's two. Okay, and these wrap around. Okay, got that. And then it rejoins us over here. Like on the bottom? On the bottom. Like so. Okay. Uh, next up we need four of these beige pieces. One, two, three, four, and one of these brown pieces. So these go right there and right there. I'm going to try to build with symmetry just because that's probably the easiest way to keep track 
of what I'm doing, right? There, got that. Now two tall black pieces, which I have seen, just need to go find again. Are those black? Yes, those are black. Because there's the other gray piece. I can start looking for those as well. Here's one of the gray pieces. Here's the other gray piece. Which means... In that same pile, I should find... Here we go. It was a different pile. Go figure. Okay. So this is going to go right in front of that piece we just put in. And then these... Oh, that's the wrong one. It needs to be a one over, not a two over. Here's a one over. And here's a one over. Okay, so we can go ahead and just plop that in. Like so. Okay, got those. Next up, we're doing another sub assembly. So we need this guy. We need a wheel adapter for each side. We need one of those and two of these. Yeah, when the organization is right, it's really easy to uh, get a handle on. So that's not the piece. This is the piece. Okay. So first step, put that out over one side. Put this out over the other side. Then put this in the middle. Now we've matched that up. So this is going to sit on like this. That's it. It just didn't snap or click. Okay. And from here, we're going to attach like so. Yep, yeah, that, that's in plane. That makes sense. Okay, got that. Next up. We are looking for or building a new piece. We've got one of these 1x4 blacks. Let's see, we're looking for a flat top gray. Uh, then we're looking for an offset just like this and then one corner. One gray corner. Okay so we take the long piece we set up the shorter piece like this then the other piece like this and then this piece goes on the end. Should look about like that. And then this gets sticker number four. Okay. Got sticker number four done. And that's going to go on like... Okay, so I'm assuming we're doing the exact same thing again on the other side. Long flat piece, small angle gray, this offset piece, and then a 1x4 black. There we go. So, let's flip the page, and it says do the exact same thing again. Okay. And I'm going to look at it this time. So this one should go like so. Okay. And if that was number four, we need number six sticker.
Oh, no, don't stick yet. <laughs> Slap that on there. Yep, that's done. Realign everything and move on. Okay, so we need two gray ones. And there's two of those. Then we need these two guys. And then two of these. So what are we building? Uh, we look like we're just building out the uh, front here. There we go. So now I need two of these. These are going to go like so. And we're hunting for pieces that look like this. So we've got one. We need to find the other. Where is the other? Does that only say one? No, that says two. Ah, it's hiding behind another piece. Then two one by one black smooth tops. There we go. So these. Go like so. Then these go on the far edge. And that's all of that part put together. So now we need this one for the next step, and this one for the next step, and then two curved ones. There's one. And since I found one, I know the other is nearby. Ah, there we go. Got it. Okay. So this piece goes here. Okay. And turned around the other way. <laughs> so good of me to stick that all, all nice and neat. Nope. 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 I need one of those part pullers. Or those Lego brick pullers. Where I'm going to have to get real creative here. Making some headway. There's a little bit of a gap. Ah, there we go. It would really help if I just didn't put it on wrong the first time. <laughs> there we go. Stick it in all the way again. So these go on like this, apparently, on both sides. Okay, got those in. Now we need you to go in the row in front. That was a satisfying click. Then we need two of these. There's two of those. Fenders. And then, let's see, where do they go? These go here. Hmm. That is much taller than I expected, but okay. And these fenders go on top of where the wheel should go. That all looks right to me. Now I've never seen this piece before. But we're building another sub-assembly so we're going to set that aside. We're going to grab you and you since those are called for. And they're going to line up. Oh, there we go. Only it's supposed to have one sticking out in the back side. There we go. That looks about right. Okay. Two pieces that look like this. 
and then two gray corners and then two of that piece that I found earlier that was not quite the thing that I was looking for okay next up we need you to sit like so and you to do the same where do the corner pieces go hmm well, it says I need them, it just doesn't show me where. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just, I was expecting them to be on the edges and that is not where they went. Okay, got that now. Next up, two more of these. And then, where's the one? There we go. There's the one angle. These are going to go under these. So this, this goes on the corner. And the corner goes on like so. There we go. So that goes on the corner, which means it goes like so. There we go, got that. Now we bring in the main piece again, and that goes, where? Hmm, that is a vi very tiny contact patch. Very tiny, because it's only two. That's, that's quite small. Okay then, well, next up. Looking for the next piece. I think we've moved on to a new pile for the primary. So we've got two of these. This is gonna go here. And then here. And I kept finding these. I guess we're going back and forth between piles, because that was definitely a different pile that, that was in. So two black corners and one two by three. The two by three goes in the middle here. Whoop. And the corners go here. And here. Okay. Making good headway. We are just past the halfway mark. Okay, so two looks like these, dark gray. And then one two, three, four of those. So what do those stick to? Those stick to this. Okay, got those on there. And then these go over the beige pieces, cover up the beige. Okay. Now we need two of these, which we've got a bunch of. And then two of these, which were shockingly easy to find. So this is gonna go right here. This is going to go in that tiny gap there. Like so. And then we're going to repeat on the other side. Cool. Got that. Next up. A long flat piece and a wide flat piece. So the long one goes here, flat one goes here. Now, I think we're definitely into a different bag here because I don't see that piece used quite readily. Okay.
how long is that? Two, four, six. That is six long. I have many of many of the fours. Okay, I'm gonna do some tidying up here so it's easier to find things by attaching the tires. To the rims. Once I get the tires on the rims, I'm going to set them aside because they take up a lot of space and cover up a lot of things. Set those aside. So maybe let's check the last bag. Still nothing in there that we need just yet. I mean, I've got this gray one. That may be what it's supposed to be. It may be supposed to may ah, maybe supposed to be the gray one. Now we need where is that two loop? There we go. We need that because that goes in the middle. And we've got two flat. Are they silver or are they gray? Because if that's just too wide, I've got one here. I feel certain I've got another over here. And then there's one for the license plate tag. Why does that look like it's got wood grain? Maybe that's that means it's supposed to be shiny? It's four wide. So... This may be it. Oop. That's because that's not it. I need a wider shiny. There's a four wide shiny. And then we need decal number one. That does not look right. If that's supposed to be a four wide piece, like this is, this sticker is too short. Hmm. Okay. Well, we need number 11 on the other pieces. By number 11. Slot that on there. Number 11 is too long. Hmm. I didn't expect the Lego to have made the sticker tube. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll take that piece off. I'll replace sticker number 11. And then stick the license plate back on. There we go. That's how that's supposed to look. And this is going to go right here along the back. Okay. Next up, we need this piece and one of these. So this goes on like so. Then it goes in like so. And then it gets a sticker, sticker number nine. problem. Okay, next up we need two more of these. 
and then four like so. Two, three, four. Yep, that's that's that. And then they go under this curvy piece. Both places. And these go on here. There's got to be a better way to, to have done that. There we go. Oh, I know what that is. I know what's going on here. These are removable because I'm betting those are the oil jets. <laughs> the, uh, the trap that comes out the back of the car. Okay, next up. We need two gray of this stacked on top of each other. And then two of the lights, which has got to be in this other bag. Since I'm short on space, I'm going to consolidate the group off on the left and make a new pile. I've been holding off on this last bag specifically because it looked like it was primary cosmetics, which usually go on last. You know what? Let's go ahead and stick these on the uh, hubcaps for the tires. Just so there's that one less thing to have to deal with than looking in the pile. Okay, got all four. I'm still looking for a rounded piece that is at least flat on top. There we go. <laughs> it was in the pile I was already looking at. Oh, okay. So we need the double stack with the lights. And then we need two more of those. One, two, with the lights. And it looks like yellow is on top. So make sure yellow is on top. And there we go. We have lights for our DB5. Next up. We've got a long, curvy black piece. Where are you? Ah. Stashed all the way at the very, very front. Okay, you go where? Oh, you're the seat. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, got the seat. Now we need two more of these. One, two, and these are gonna go right here to continue that body line. There we go, next up. Oh, when I said halfway point, that was, that was quarter point. Whoops. <laughs> We're going to be at this for a little bit. Okay. The uh, pile of parts is getting a lot smaller. And it is getting a lot smaller very fast. There's just many pages to go through. So I'm hunting down these bits. So... These will go like so. Let's put that on. So we've got a good reference on which direction that goes. It goes like that. There we go. 
Now we need the last two of these browns. Right, flip it over. And then two... Those are... Are those supposed to be shiny? I think that is supposed to be shiny. Which makes sense, because I've got two shinies right here. Okay. So you go... Right here? Yeah, slightly inset. And these guys go right in front. Hmm. Okay. Next up. We're still upside down. We need four of these. So these overlap just a touch. I was supposed to build that out first. So we need are these shiny? Yeah, two of these two by two or one by two shinies. And then shiny corners. Okay, that's how that goes. So I just need to build out the same thing over here. Looks about like that. Just lined up better. There you go. Got those in. Now we need two more. These are going to be held together with these. So we can do there a gap between them? There is. Okay. There we go. I really kind of wonder what this feature is supposed to be under here. It uses a lot of shiny parts. Need two of these. These go upside down with a little bit over our lap. There we go. Got those. Now we need this piece and this piece. And then two of the grabby ones. So this piece is going to fit in like, like this with a grabby piece underneath. Oh, what up if I had the grabby piece the right side around? Okay. What part does that go into? That lines up on here we build the other one the exact same well opposite the exact opposite okay got you there next page two that weird piece I don't think I've seen before we've had a few of those in this kit that right there and then the flamey doodad but it's the wrong color okay so flamey doodad goes in the bottom there and it gets grabbed by that piece flame goes up gonna go ahead and stick that in like that and then put in the flame there we go now we need I think these are the last two of that angle 
we're going to flip it back over. These go up front here. Looks like that. And like that. And we've got a piece like this in between. Cool. Okay, next up. Need the steering wheel. Oh, no. <laughs> I've already been pulling stuff out of bag two. Oh. This goes on the right side. And then we need a flat piece here. So in theory, we're done with all of that. That's off on that side. Okay. So we should have a lot from the right hand side. So we need, where are you? We need a one by four. Oh, well that's not gray. That's supposed to be gray. There's the gray. Then one, one by three, one by three fits in right like that. Then two... At some point I need to learn the name of all of these pieces so that I know what I'm looking for, or at least I can say what I'm looking for. Okay, we need that one and we need that one. We need two gray angles for corners. One flat, one by one flat. There we go. Yeah, I think that's all. All of that is okay. So these corners go under like so. Uh, let's see. Let's get it angled the right way. This piece goes here. Then this piece. Hmm. It says that goes on top. But it also says it goes... Are there more than one kind of that piece? I guess what? There are. Well, I found the actual piece I was looking for. And then where do you go? You show where? Oh, but there's already something there. There's also nothing for you to grab onto. So remember this piece? There's already something there. Are we supposed to re No, we can't remove that. That does not make sense. Because it clearly shows... Oh. Over here it doesn't. Hmm. Maybe... No, that's not what it meant. Because that does not fit. Let's go back a page, or two, or three. What I want to see is I want to see the interior, where we, yeah. That show is open as black. Okay, so we misbuilt a piece in here somewhere take that off and yeah we're not gonna get that off um because that's like the backbone for the whole back half of the car and that's not just a one by piece this isn't 
long enough to fit in. Like, it, it's got to go there. Were the directions wrong? No, because it, it clearly shows an open spot right there. So this is this is this is wrong. Um well bear with me. I will fix it and we will be back. And we're back. I figured it out. We're good. I uh, just kind of put in these angle pieces again. And we're fine. I just had to take apart most of the back half of the vehicle to clear up that one space. Done. Now I just gotta get us back on the right page. That's the right page. Okay, so we're looking for another one of these, another two of these, a one by one flat black. There we go. Not those, but these. I know I got another one. That's got to be it. Okay. So we're going to build this backwards. So I know that piece goes there. I know that piece goes there. Do we need like a 1x4? Or a 1x3. That's what it was. 1x3. So it's going to go like so. Except, it's going to have this piece on the end, and this piece on the end, and then the flat black. So that it looks exactly like the other side. I feel certain that's exactly what it's telling us to do next. That is not what it told us to do next. Is it? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just uh, mirrored on each side. Okay. Next up. Need black one of these. We're looking for... There we go. This piece. Got you together. Now I'm looking for one last piece. It is a long, wide, curvy, black, smooth piece. At least too wide. There we go. Found you. Okay, got that. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I've made one. That's one seat. Do I need to find another one? I need to find another exact everything. Okay, you. Where is... No, that doesn't have a rail. That's, that's actually totally different. Let's look for this piece, which since it's a circle it can go on any corner. Then we need a piece like this. Make sure you ran all the way. Then a piece like this. If I angle it the same way it is in the photo, it looks totally fine. Now I need this dot thing. Oh wait, first I need that long curvy thing again. This guy. Took so long to find the other one. I didn't think I would find two, but then I found two. <laughs> okay, got that. So if we arrange it like it is in the photo, this grabs onto one of these, and then has, it looks like a lever on it. Okay. I feel like that's built backwards, but whatever. 
That is what it says do. And functionally, I don't think it's going to be any different. Okay, next up. Got that sharp piece. Since it came from the pile over here, there's probably another one over here. But if not... Oh, it just says one. And it goes here. But it's got number seven on it. So let's put number seven on it. And then put it back in. There we go. Got number seven on it. There's nothing either side of it. Is there? No? Hang on, is that at the same level as the... No, that is, that is absolutely where that goes. Okay. Next up, we need two of that piece. Found one. Actually, put that back in that pile and disconnect the ones that I accidentally connected earlier this episode. Okay, got them broke apart. It just took a little bit more effort than I was expecting. So I got both of those. Now I need two of these. Yes, two of those. One and two. Where do these go? These go here? Yes. Those go there. These go here, facing forward. Don't know what for, but that's where they go. Okay. Next, we're looking for a long gray piece. It's got a dot in the middle instead of all three studs. Yeah, this has been a particularly challenging build. Just gotta get them all flipped over the right way so I can even see what I'm looking for. Just, they're all the same color. <laughs> Where does that even go? in the left pile or the right pile. Let me put fingers on every single one of them again. But I'm fairly certain I have checked thoroughly. And I cannot for life me find that. Where does it even go? It goes right here on top of that other piece. Hmm. Well, let's try to continue on without it. 
So we need you here, then you here. Then we need that piece in the middle that we don't have. And then do we cover that up? We immediately cover that up. It's not a big deal. Yeah, there we go. Covered up. No one will ever know. It even has a piece like so in front of it. No one will ever know, except for you. You will know. Okay, now where do the other two pieces go? We need flat blacks here. And where did the other one go? I literally just saw it. There it is. The uh, angle of lights make the uh, black pieces look gray. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know, that's a me problem. Okay, so two gray angles. And these go like so. No. Like so. Got that one. And got that one. And then finally, back to some fenders. Fender goes there. The other fender goes there. That should look basically exactly like it does there, and it does. Okay, so we need two long wides. At least it looks like long wides. Are these the doors? These are basically the doors. One, two, three, gap. Yeah, got it. Okay. Then we need sticker number 10. Sticker number 10 goes on this side. Oh, okay, yeah, hindsight. Put the sticker on before you stick the piece in. It won't work if you don't. Okay, this one takes number eight. Got that taken care of. Next up, we just did eight and ten. I'm assuming we're doing the exact same thing again, but with two and three. Okay, so we should have additional pieces, the same size and shape and length and everything. There we go. And the close side is going to take number two. Props to the folks at Legos for picking a good sticker material. I have to say, being able to restick these has been a lifesaver. Fingerprints don't seem to do that much harm. Cool. And of course, because I had to mess with that other piece might not be as tight as it should be. <laughs> okay, got those. Now we need two more smaller pieces. They're gonna go like so. There we go. Next up, we are building a sub-assembly. So, car goes away. Then we need a four wide. We need a grabby out each side, and one in the middle-ish. Then we need the loopy one, 
There we go. Got those. What next? We've got two, like so. So that's going to go out the back. We need to find another one just like that that's also going to go out the back. And I need to grab another roundy one. And the roundy one goes in the middle there. Cool. Got all that. Now what? Now we need tailpipe stuff. Okay. So more of this new piece. Feel certain I saw more than one. Yep, I did. If I didn't throw it. There is a... <laughs> Whew. That could be very not fun. Okay, so... Flames. I don't know why the flames are silver. Don't ask me. I don't know. Okay. Oh wait, these go the other way. What in the heck are we even making? Okay. Next up... We have a shiny piece. We've got are you? And then same thing but wider. Same thing but wider. And then one shiny piece. So the shiny piece goes across like so okay and this goes like this oh that's gross I don't like that it's being held by one one little bitty <laughs> that's it okay oh that says one to one scale is that one to one scale that is pretty darn close to one-to-one -one scale. Okay. It didn't tell me where to put that, so now I need this long boy. Uh, one of these. They're a slightly longer shiny one somewhere, maybe? Please? Nope. All of the shiny pieces I have left are the same length. I think maybe this kid is cursed. That is the second piece that I don't have. Okay, need these. Oh wait, yeah, I need these. I need one by one square shinies. Do I need one? Because I only have one. And then two shiny corners. Yeah, literally all of my shiny flat pieces are the exact same size. I think you can see that over on the side here. I have a lot of them. Why do I have that many of them? I don't actually know. Oh, and then one, one more one by. Okay. So what are we building here? So we do one corner with the one. Straighten everything out so it all matches together. Then have the really long one go on to like so. Oh, that overlaps. Why does that overlap? Why are we not building it symmetrical? I don't know. Okay. And then there's... Oh. Uh, yeah, that's that's not long enough. That's, that is for sure not long enough. There's supposed to be one that is one extra long. Just by one. But it is nowhere here. 
But this goes on like so. Oh, I can fix that. Just hope that I don't need that somewhere else. <laughs> also, I totally built that wrong. Oh, man. Yep, there's no getting around that. I gotta rebuild that. Okay, connect it up to both of those. Do a curved bit. Then do a square bit. Okay, that is correct, apparently. It's gonna go on the front here. Are there flames coming out the front? I don't know. Okay, and now it's calling for a sticker. Sticker number one. There we go. Next up. Now we're getting to build the headlights. So... For sure I need the headlight bits that look like headlights. We got the two headlight bits. Now we need... Is this it? Is it curved or no? We need two... Like so. We need a step down. two curvy step downs is a curvy step down right wait no we've got these step downs that is correct okay and then we need two of this other piece that I saw over here but don't know where they went they have like a, a light or something pre-stuck to it. That one, right there. And that one. Okay. So now that we've got that, so, yeah. One of the lights will look like that, and the other light will look like, if I can get it turned around, that. Okay, so these go on the step downs. Trying to juggle too many parts in my hands at the same time. Okay, got the step downs, and I'm assuming, yeah, that's definitely where those go. And then they go on the front here. Cool. It's a lot boxier than I expected. Uh, okay, next up, we've got this piece. We are building a module, so setting the car aside. We need these two browns. Then we need three. One, two, three of the loopy guys. So... One in the front, two on the sides. We need the red piece. Where does the red piece go? Red piece is a sub sub module. What goes into the red piece? We got the Lego chair thing that connects off of a one by four. Or, I mean, sorry. Two by two. And this connects... How? Okay. Like that. Then we've got that. Then we've got two of these.
There we go. That is that piece, and that just nestles down like that. Okay, next up, we shove a chair in the gap. That's just loose. Is that supposed to be loose? That doesn't have any way to snap in. Yeah, that legitimately just does not have a way to snap in. So then it doesn't tell us where that goes. And we get out a new piece. And then add a new piece to the new piece. There we go. And then this goes on. That is the only way for that to fit. Okay, got that. Then my last big piece goes across like so. We need this piece, this piece, and then one of these. So this is going to go on like so with uh, that on the back. And that's going to go like so. Yeah, it's getting a lot easier now that we've not had to worry about missing parts. <laughs> and then one of these. If anybody watching figures out where I went wrong, where I'm missing that extra long shiny piece, you can just let me know. Hmm. Does that go like that? That kind of goes like that. So I need one of these. I need one of these. So that goes like that. But that can't stay like that, so that goes like that. And we need, where was that other one? It was a 1x3. One 1x3. By three. One by three. Perfect. Oh, lots of little bits. Um, let's see, solid gray there, solid gray there, and then solid gray here. Wait, no, no, no. That's that's very wrong. I assumed the wrong thing. Build that? I misbuilt built that. Okay. So if that goes like so, then that. Hmm. figured out how they match up because these parts look identical if you're not paying attention like I wasn't okay that's done now we need you and your partner over here and then I need you Along with sticker number five. Cool. Now we can bring back the main body. Oh, I lost a piece. Oh no. There we go. Just 
just gotta go back over all those joints and because it's got the clippy doodads it can clip right in dang it oh that is clipped in why is that loose no seriously why is that loose that should not be loose okay so we're it's almost like that's supposed to come up or have something in the front there but i don't know what that is anyways let's flip it over we got it facing the correct direction and i need this piece and the loopy piece like so once i've got those two oh look what i found <laughs> that piece that's missing under the dash it was under the loopy piece whoops so now we're only down one piece instead of two okay got that together now I need this piece the pointy piece and the grabby piece and that's gonna flip upside down and it's gonna go here Okay, next up, I take the... That's clearly a gun. And the binoculars. Put the gun in the binoculars. And it gets gripped. Hmm. I don't know how I like that. I don't think I like that at all. Anyways, moving right along. There we go. Windshield. Okay. Front windshield is here. And we need some corner pieces. Which we have a few. Not a lot, but a few. Got corner pieces. Then what? We take this piece along with this piece. This clips in like so. We've got, yep, that matches. Then we've got these two pieces, which makes sense. And okay, that is how that goes. Okay. We look like we've got almost an entire car now. And now it says put on the tires. Which we did earlier. Because they were in the way. And it says we've got all of those spare silver pieces for the spare decals, which are different license plates. Which, if you know James Bond, he changes license plates a lot. So, yeah, that looks like we're basically done here. It says, take off the roof, put James in, we should be good to go. I'm going to have to take out the uh, steering wheel to fit him. Yeah. Or maybe. I'm going to put the steering wheel there. No. Okay. We will leave James Bond outside for now until I figure out the right way to get him on the inside. Till then, he's up to his normal spy shenanigans. Well, there we have it. We have the Aston Martin DB5. And I think there were a fair number of Easter eggs that if you were paying close attention, you will have gotten during the build. But anyway...
Well, it looks like that's going to do it for us today, guys. I wanted to say thank you for hanging around this long. If you did and you haven't already hit subscribe, please do. Uh, just so you don't miss out on any of the other cool stuff coming on down the road. If you'd like to hang out with us, please hit us up on Discord. Link is in the About section on the channel, or you can go to discord.onesnot.com. And I will see you guys in the next one.